Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Bailey, and I'm the founder of Black Peak. Uh, we build enterprise scale web applications using Webflow, Wizd, and Xano. And we put together a great talk about just that. We also have a live demo where you'll be able to participate for those watching online and in person. So it should be really fun. Before we get into it, uh, I want to introduce you all to Black Peak. Uh, we're a relatively young agency. And considering that just last year, we were only a two-person crew, today we've grown into 15 full-time and part-time team members, including product designers, developers, and QA analysts. With our team, we're able to build immensely complex web applications like property booking sites, e-commerce applications, and real-time dashboards. Now you may be wondering, what is a web application? Let's break it down a bit. Web applications typically have three main aspects, starting with requests here. In web apps, users will request data from a server, and this could be in the form of a login or a signup. In the situation of signup, we have the server, and the server then runs through, we have the data that translates to the server, and the server then runs through a series of checks to ensure the data is valid, and then adds the data to the database. This here, you can see we have Xano here. That's an API function stack that we use that manipulates the data. Once the server has saved the new data, we return a success message to the server, and in this situation, an authentication token to allow them into the gated access of the website. These are the three core aspects of a web app, and with these, you can build crazy, powerful things. And with that being said, we built something crazy, powerful to show you all today. We built what we think is the perfect demonstration of what no-code development can look like in a large-scale format. Um, this is a real-time horse racing game that you, the audience, can participate in for those watching online and in person. The horse racing game utilizes Supabase's real-time database, Webflow for the design, and Wiz to glue both of them together. So go ahead, scan this QR code, and if you're watching online, make sure to scan with your mobile phone as the buttons don't appear online. And we've got a great lineup of horses for you today for those watching. So go online, uh, scan the QR code, and we'll get going here. So first up to the post here, we have Go With The Webflow. Go With The Webflow is being piloted down the track by world-renowned jockey Vlad from Webflow. Second up to the post is Older in Wizder, relatively young gelding in his first year of racing. Older in Wizder has partnered with Joe Krug, professional track trainer and jockey hailing from Finsuite. And third up in the roster is Black Caviar. Black Caviar has been running down the field by the emerging horsemanship superstar Bailey Fisher of Black Peak. And last but not least, we have Super Speed rounds out our racing roster, being ridden by the one and only McGuire. Okay, so. With that being said, we'll make sure everything is good to go here. And we'll transfer over to the web application demo now. Once we get it on screen going, we can get things going. <clears throat> We're waiting for it to come up on screen here, the web application demo. <laughs> it's, it's coming, any, any time now, it's coming. Um, yeah, so like I said, this uses Supabase for the real-time database. It should handle 2,500 requests per second. So essentially what we're going to demo here is essentially DDoSing the Supabase database. Um, we have 200 people online and probably 70 people or so in person here. So it's going to be uh, hitting that database as fast as possible. And then in the back end, we're actually summing the database. So every time you click one of these buttons, it will add a new record to that database. We summarize that database very, very fast, probably every 50 milliseconds or so we summarize it, and then the live data is then represented on the website. Okay, there we go, <laughs> that's good here. So on the count of three, we will start, uh, or on the count of zero, we'll start. So three, two, one, and the horses should be off. There we go, okay. We got Suba Speed moving actually quite fast in the bottom there. Vlad's coming up in the back there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we need to hit a thousand hits uh, per horse, and it looks like super speed. Oh my gosh, you guys love Maguire, hey? Jeez, it's going. Keep pressing that button. Come on, see super speed. Why is black cover on the last? What is this? Come on, guys. Like, <laughs> Joe Krug in the uh, in what is like second place there? That nose is just inching forward a little bit there. 
Vlad still, still in third place. Super speed though, coming in hot. Oh my goodness. Let's see if he dies down at the end. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> We're almost there. We're getting to the end there. Black Caviar in the last still. Can I get some support in here for Black Caviar? <laughs> <laughs> This is great. We're so close though. Super Speed's almost at the finish line. And we have Vlad coming in second now, just to overtook Older and Wizder with Joe Krug as the jockey there. And in a moment here, we'll see Super Speed cross the finish line. Once it hits a thousand, we're almost there. And there we go, McGuire won. <laughs> that was great, that was great. Thank you guys for participating, that was awesome. Okay, now we'll go back to the slides here. And uh, now that you have a taste of what's possible, you might be thinking, why do we want to use Webflow for web applications? And I get that question asked a lot. Uh, it's quite funny because most of our clients that come to us are pre-existing Webflow customers. But the answer is right there. Your clients are already familiar with Webflow. They don't have to learn a whole new tool like Bubble for them to be able to add web app-like capabilities to their pre-existing marketing site. They don't have to spend any more money training a team on a new tool and are already comfortable with Webflow. It just works. There are a plethora of no-code tools out there available. I know some of us here have used Zapier, Make, uh, with Webflow to close the gap. But these tools don't solve for rendering data on page in real time like you just saw. Some of us even tried Bubble and Outseta, but why should we be forced to use tools that try to do everything at a good level? when we can use specific tools that are great at their respective jobs to accomplish our goals at a great level and not just a good level. That's where the WWX stack comes in. This stack, also known as Webflow, Wizd, and Xano, is ultra powerful. We use Webflow, the best platform for front-end design. Wizd to act as our glue between Webflow and Xano, enabling us to send API calls from the front-end to any third-party server we like and Xano, our no-code API builder with flexible databases and scalable server infrastructure. With this stack, we can build almost any web app imaginable. But why should we use Webflow when I can build the front end with code? Why can I use Wizd, or why should you use Wizd when I can build the same functionality with JavaScript? And why should we use Xano when we can build code with React? There are two main reasons for this, money and time. With Webflow, Wiz, and Xano, you don't need to hire costly engineers, nor does it take the better part of a year to develop a feature-rich, enterprise-scale web application. And now, instead of using these tools to try and cover all the bases of a web app, we can use Webflow. <laughs> we can use Webflow, the best front-end designer. In fact, with our team and processes, we can build complete web applications in just under eight weeks. That includes product conceptualizing, design concepts, high fidelity design in Figma, development in Webflow, Xano, and Wiz development. It's the full A to Z scope. It's pretty crazy to think about. With that being said, Stay World Class is one of our bigger applications we've built. It's a massive property booking web application. And their database actually syncs with Airbnb and Verbo. So whenever someone makes a booking on Airbnb or Verbo, it syncs to our database that we built custom here. You can go and you can select your dates. We use a custom JavaScript date picker there that we can then use to select any custom date you want. There is a vast amount of conditional logic here where it uses to only book minimum 30 days. There's different variables for the pricing. And then at the end here, once you're ready to pay, the user doesn't leave the website. We've embedded Stripe elements so the user can pay directly on the website. We don't go to a third-party site, Stripe checkout. Uh, it's all on page, which is pretty fantastic there. We also built Toolbox, uh, a really, really slick uh, e-commerce website here. You can see we have an account setup uh, option there. And Toolbox, it's full e-commerce. We, for this product, we use Stripe Checkout in this situation. Um, but Toolbox allows us to host uh, e-commerce products on the site, and it's a marketplace as well. So you can sign up as a buyer or a seller. You can post your products to this website, and you get paid out via Stripe Connect. You connect your website with Stripe, uh, or connect your Stripe account to the site. Every time someone buys from you, you get paid out, and it's pretty slick the way it works there. 
We have filtering. You can see your KPI data on the dashboard there. As you can see, you can see best sellers, your products that you have. You can edit products. You can host videos on it. It's fantastic and very, very feature-rich, all built with a WWX stack. And lastly, we have August Collection, one of our older clients that we've been working with for quite a while now. They actually have the ability, and their main core product, they allow you to buy a share within a corporate holding account of multiple properties. So you buy one share, you now own 1 20th, or how many shares there are, in that property, and you could book a vacation at any one of those five properties. But to do that, we needed a custom token system. So every quarter or whatever cadence they use, they're able to release tokens into the wild that is their users, and these users can book stays at properties whenever they like. There's a custom user form that we have here. There's complex scheduling logic, and we use a staging database and API. So similar to GitHub with Xano, we can have a staging database and a staging API where we can do all of our testing on the Webflow IO domain, um, including Webflow design testing, as well as full backend testing. And then once we're ready, push to production from there. That's the end of it. Thank you very much. And um, I'm glad the Horse Web app worked out. And uh, thanks. Have a good day, everybody.